Hi folks, this is Sue Bell from Market Domination Solutions. We have an exciting presentation today. Give me a one if you can hear me okay and if you can see my screen. I think I've shared everything. Yep, hit record, all that kind of good stuff. Excellent. Thanks, guys. So, so, local ranking domination. Um, We've we've got a surprisingly full room today, but um, j just given the fact that you know it's the beginning of August and people are either on vacation or taking their kids back to school, I really uh, expected a fairly small group. So I'm pleased to see everybody. Thanks for showing up today. I I have an exciting presentation. So um, I noticed that several of the names on the list were here a couple of weeks ago for our last. Um, our last webinar where I started talking about what we were going to do with our summer vacation, right? We were going to like uh, dig into all the manners and varieties of inbound link building to see what worked today, right? Do some labs and do some good stuff. And, uh, and so I just, I want to follow up with that today because the results have been so astounding. I have to admit, um, the stuff that we had on the table, I, uh, my team has shouldered almost entirely, and I have sunk 120% of my time into what I have found because it has been so groundbreaking and so mind blowing. And um, so, without further ado, let's just um, let's just dive into where we're headed. Um, so the story, I, obviously you have to have a website if you want to try to rank something, right? So, um, so I was actually doing a couple of different things. We've got a hundred plus websites, uh, all up, we've got like 300 plus websites, but I have a hundred of them that were going to actually be incorporated in the first part of this test. And, but I also had, I'd been given a couple of beta products some super cool plugins, some of them that had databases, some of them that did cool things to your website. And I'd also been let in um, on a really, really cool new spinner thing that I don't think is ever going to be released to the public, but that's beside the point. And I had been, I'd come across a whole bunch of wow, this sounds cool, it might work kind of concepts. And so I had all these things sort of on a big piece of white paper that I wanted to test and I'd thrown several of them into this website and so I refer to it affectionately as my Frankenstein baby. And so that was the project that I was actually working on and the first thing that I was going to build links to and this was the 23rd of July. So I, I had been like it was the Thursday before our first webinar that we were talking about link building and so this was um, like the Tuesday after that I had been like messing with it over the weekend with all of these new cool tools and everything. I had had 40,000 pages on this mass build prior to my futzing with it for those three or four days. And on the 23rd of July, I thought, well, okay, I'm ready now. Like it's, it's down to like a hundred pages, which was where I wanted it to be uh, to, to actually give to, um, to Google. Now, understand that the plastic wrap was still clinging um the the text on the page i i had i had prepped it for indexing i hadn't prepped it for ranking right so um so there was some really interesting um text that ended up in the SERPs that was horrible and resulted in no clicks. I really didn't have a lot of SEO. I had all these cool things that I was trying, but the SEO, like your standard stereotypical, you know, do this, do that, you know, have your keyword here, have your keyword there. Don't put your keyword here and there and there. Like uh, I broke, I would say 95% of the rules for on page SEO. Right. And including I had two different sets of supporting keywords. I started off with, oh, I'm going to use this set of supporting keywords. The, the term was digital marketing. And I was um, I'm trying for the, the greater London area. And uh, 
And at first I had one set of supporting keywords. And then as I thought about it more, I was like, oh, they're too diverse. They're too difficult. They, they were like SEO and social media marketing. And so I scaled it down and I had a different set of, of supporting keywords. And it ended up that both sets of supporting keywords were on the page, which meant neither set of supporting keyword were there. Like it, they were okay, but like neither of them were there in, in very strong um, presence, right? They were maybe on the page once or twice as opposed to, you know, a few more times, which is what I would normally do. There were no links, no inbound links, no social. At this point, we now have a YouTube channel, but we didn't at that time. There's still no calls to action. Um, and, and then as I went to submit it to Google, I found out that I had already turned it on. So when we had the webinar, I know I had in my head um, well, it was actually a month before, right, that I had actually, like, started working on this thing. I pulled some of the pieces together. I created the, the site with 40,000 pages. It was almost exactly a month before. And, yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. Um, and I, I know I had it in my head that I was going to reduce it to 100 pages. And then, you know, I got caught up in, in the stuff that we'd sold and delivering and, and all of the day-to-day. -day, and I forgot right until I, I came back I, I had completely spaced that I had submitted it to Google so as I go to submit it to Google Google's like oh you already did that and I'm like gulp so um so it wouldn't accept a sitemap from me it gave me a big middle finger um and I'm sitting there thinking what am I going to do so I thought well I'll just keep moving forward and I will export the whole thing and put it into another you know fresh uh, domain name and just you know move on with it that way so I had work still that I wanted to do and I thought well I I'll create I had a silo page already in my head I was going to make three or four silo pages and put some of the links on each page and and I thought well maybe I'll just stick all of the links on one page and I'll submit that one page to Google and webmaster tools where you can submit a page and and so I did that and I just kept on futzing this is like I don't know six o'clock at night maybe and uh, hmm. Maybe it was 10 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, about about a few hours later, 10 hours later, right? I come back and I do a really quick site, colon, right? And I had 68 pages indexed. And I was like, wait. So I threw all the keywords quick like a little bunny into SERP book. And this is what it, it told me out of um, 103 I had just under 100 pages, so I, had, I put in a, a couple more keywords. But I had the primary keyword, which was the location. So I'm targeting like uh, almost 90, uh, almost 100 locations around London within a one mile um, area of the center point of London. I'm targeting burbs that are 30,000 or greater. Boroughs, I think they're called in England. Anyway. Um, I'm targeting that 30,000 30, population and larger, uh, which gave me about 100. And um, and so, you know, this includes keywords like Soho or, or locations like Soho and Westminster and, and those kinds of things. So, um, so we had 68 pages indexed. Each page has got one location associated with it and digital marketing. So like Soho Digital Marketing, London Digital Marketing, yeah, yeah, yada, yada. So we had uh, 103 of those keywords in the top 100 and 56 of them in the top three. And I just, I, I, you had to pick me up off the floor. So this is the same site today. So this is like two and a half weeks, two weeks, two days later. Um, there was quite a bit of fluctuation initially, and for the last week, it has been pretty stable. There's been between 23 and 30 keywords in the top three. Um, I don't believe that the YouTube channel – so we, we put up a YouTube channel. We put up five videos in the YouTube channel. It was branded for this. They link back to various pages, including one linking back to that silo page on the previous screen. And I I couldn't – see that there was any difference made by that YouTube channel. I didn't notice any solidarity with those links. Now that's all I did with that channel. I didn't promote that channel further. As far as I know, nobody's actually found the channel. I don't know that there's any views. I haven't actually kept up because 
This was so amazing and so astounding that I had to know whether or not it was a fluke, right? What happens? No subscribers. Great. One of my jazz just took a quick look. No subscribers. So um, I had to know whether or not it was a fluke. So quick like a little bunny, I built another one, another site. And so this time I thought, well, I'll, I'll try the U.S. market. Um, oh, sorry. Individual. I got a, a little bit more information about this website. These are individual rankings, keyword rankings. Um, again, no, this was before we had any inbound links, anything, right? So, um, um, yeah, you can see. I didn't want to show the entire keyword. I don't really want to give the site away because um, somebody now owns the site. So I, I didn't want to. Uh, I don't want to like put it out on a webinar. But um, but you can see a little bit. You can see what's going on. You see the data added. You can see that there's features on the pages. There, there is competition for these keywords. Um, all right. So the second site. Um, the second site I did not have in Webmaster Tools for 30 days prior, right? I put the site up, had it ready to go, quote unquote, ready to go. Um, no weird text on it this time, right? Um, and submitted, had the keywords into SERP book before we, I actually submitted it to Google. So, um, so we could see what happened. So this is after, uh, I think it's a week, not quite a week. It's been five days. Um, so after five days, it it found the homepage. It indexed the homepage immediately. It ranked the homepage for a whole bunch of keywords, but nothing above the fold. And I knew that wasn't going to last because, you know, it was the homepage. The homepage wasn't supposed to rank for anything. So in the meantime, now it's found, um, I think it was 256 pages are indexed currently, and 256 out of 420. Um, and these are the rankings as of this morning. So, again, individual keywords. Now, this has got no inbound links. We have not done anything with this. There's no social. There's no YouTube channel. This is just completely bang out the box. It is still crazy volatile stuff is going up and down but um but it doesn't matter when i run the rankings you know that, i mean they're still going up but um yeah as of i imagine that they'll stabilize within the next because we have most of the pages indexed at this point i imagine that the numbers will stabilize over the course of the next 48 hours so Let me just show you what we've got from a traffic point of view, because this is what truly blows me away. Um, you can see here the impressions for the first couple of days, and the clicks weren't all that great. Um, we've had a total of 261 clicks since the 23rd of July, when I put that in as of a couple of days ago, right? Because it's Webmaster Tools is always a couple of days behind. Um, a total of 261 clicks in the first couple of days. The clicks were not all that because I had the weird text in there, right? So um, I've got an average of 32% of click-through rate. And for me, I mean, never mind that the site's brand new. I think that those are good numbers just for a site, you know, for a site with no inbound links. I think those are great numbers. But the fact that it's brand new out of the box... <laughs> Exactly. So, um, exactly. So, all right, traffic. Where am I headed from here? Um, so this is, interestingly enough, this is where I'm at. And this is completely, because of, of how well these sites have done, bang out of the box, it has completely eclipsed my, well, not completely eclipsed, but it's done a lot to eclipse my efforts at where I thought I was going to be with the inbound link tests. 
Um, I have uh, my my team split up into two parts at this point. One's working on the fulfillment of the stuff that we've already sold, and the other part is working on this. Um, so I've got two people that are helping me out pretty much full time on this at the moment. So we are going to start. We have actually started the groundwork for the inbound links on everything because if you're going to do um, inbound links on socials, you got to prep the socials first, right? You got to create the accounts and and do all of that kind of good stuff. So um, so we've got some accounts that are created and aged, and we're creating a whole bunch of new accounts and starting to age those. And so here over the course of the next week, we will start with inbound links. And I've also got uh, three or four, uh, four more sites that I want to try and get up within the next few days. And uh, and we're, we've got, I don't know, probably 10 more things, variations that I want to test of Frankenstein's baby um, that, you know, run the scope on, on a whole bunch of things, including obviously trying this on an age domain because all of these have been brand new plastic wrap type domains. Um. <laughs> right. Yeah. Calls to action. I need to get calls to action in these things too. So, so here is the thing here is, is like, this has eclipsed everything. So I really, I don't have a lot to tell you guys other than, than what's going on with these sites. Cause I think it's sort of amazing. Um, I, I have to actually take Frankenstein's baby apart and analyze each of the different aspects before I can tell you for sure, for sure. Um, what it is that's making it rank. I, I have my suspicions uh, and mostly I, I suspect it's a synergy of two or three different things. Um, but as I said, there were a bunch of really interesting new things that I was testing. Um, so what's what I'm doing right at the moment, I'm doing a couple of different things. I'm, uh, I've got plans to do a whole bunch of these sites in-house, obviously. Um, and I'm also planning on doing a handful. This will be an extremely small run of... Yeah, we're, we're going to end up selling leads off these sites. But for my members, and particularly like you guys have been so awesome the last couple of years um, in just in being with me since uh, since the last split. And uh, and so for you guys, I will do a, a, an extremely small run. This is not anything that's going to go public. I'm not selling this to Liz. This is, not, this is extremely small um, run of sites for people who are interested in participating in some of this. I don't have a sales page yet. I don't even have firm pricing yet. But if you guys are interested in playing with what this is doing, let me throw you a link. This is smack on the homepage, this form. And if you fill out the form, we've had a, um, one or two people fill it out already from, uh, I've done, I've made, I've talked about this a little bit over the course of the last couple of weeks, but not much. And I'm not going to talk about it much. There'll probably be one more announcement and that's it. And um, as I said, I'm not going to sell a lot of these, but if you're interested, sign up and I'll, I'll put you on a list so that you guys are notified first. And it might just be that it just might be like my current members who are here and, um, and the folks who are, are on this webinar and that, might be as far as it goes depends on on how things go so um so that's the news and uh yeah you guys have been very chatty but most of it not stuff that i can repeat <laughs> i appreciate all the feedback you guys are awesome world domination baby exactly exactly all right, guys, I will be back next week with more information and something that you guys can sink your teeth into. Um, I mean, I, I just think that this is so exciting, but we'll get a, we'll pull back the curtain a little bit more. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about what's going on. And hopefully by then I will know a little bit more about exactly what is making these things rank and can share some good stuff with you guys. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. You have a great week. We'll see you next time.